morning everyone. Morning yoga, Monday yoga. Today we're gonna start a slowly, we will hold some pauses, focus on Surya Namaskar, yeah? So if you see we change the time from 7 to 7.30, let me know if it's suiting you, yes? So we will start in conditioning ourselves. Bring your feet together, hands in Namaste in front of your heart, chin parallel to the floor, and now gently close your eyes. Bring awareness to your breath. Bring your mind to the present moment. Relax your facial muscles. With every inhalation, become taller slightly. Stomach in with every exhale. Bring your hands down and open your eyes. Hello everyone again. Bring your feet comfortable distance. We will start with warming up. Bring chin to your chest. And slowly move your chin all the way up. Again, exhale down. And inhale up. Keep your eyes open. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, one more time, chin down to your chest and bring it all the way up, come back to center, turn your head to the right, center to the left, center to the right, center to the left, again center to the right, center, to the left. Come back to center, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, right hand above your left ear and extend your left hand. And stay. Don't press, your hand is just above your ear. Feel a nice stretch. And release. And you change other side. Extend your opposite hand. And stay. Breathing in. And breathing out. Release. Gentle circles with your head. Keep your eyes open. If you're prone to vertigo, you can close your eyes and move your head the opposite direction. Good. And come back to the center. Bring your hands, hold your elbows first. Inhale, bring your hands all the way up without arching your lower back. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Relax your facial muscles. Up and down. Up and down. Continue. Up and down. Up, down. Up and down. Now make sure that your feet wider than your hips, bring your hands all the way up and exhale without moving your hips, just go sideways, you can look up or look in front and stay. Do not hold your breath, continue staying in the pose, don't lean in front, we are opening our chest and inhale, come back up, lengthening our waistline, exhale, moving to the other side. 
Look up. Or in front. And slowly come back up. Exhale. Twist together with your hips. Grounding through your feet. And come back to the center. Move your hands more back. Exhale. Twist to the other side. Inhale, come back to center, release your hands down, clasp behind your hands and open your chest. With exhale, bend your knees and going full forward bend. Relax your hand, your neck. And with inhale, very slowly coming over the neck up. Bring your hands above your shoulders and start your shoulder circles. Good. Try to bring your elbows closer to each other. And now move backwards. Do not arch your lower back. Good. And release. Now, we will bring our feet wider than our hips and go with our hip circles. Try to move your upper body less. Try to just draw circles with your hips. And moving opposite direction. Warming up our waistline, our hips. You can keep your hands on your hips and release. Feet hip distance, hands down. Inhale, coming all the way up on your toes, arms up. Keep your facial muscles relaxed, find your balance. And exhale very slowly, bring your hands and your heels at the same time to the floor. Again, inhale all the way up. If you cannot join your palms, keep your palms looking at each other. And exhale, hands back backwards, slowly release your heels and your hands down to the floor. Repeat one more time. Inhale on your toes, join your palms up, becoming tall. And exhale very slowly, release. Good. Hands on your hips. Bring your right leg up. Find your balance. Do not lean back. Start circling your ankle. Into one direction. And to the other side. Good. And now flex your foot and point. Flex, point. If you're losing your balance, have support of the wall and release. As it comes up, first we're finding our balance and now starting our ankle circle. Good. Change direction. Keep yourself tall, do not hunch your back. And now flex and point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and release. And now a few rock dolls, feet hip distance, shoulders up. Exhale, bending your legs, rolling all the way down with exhale. Relax your head, relax your neck. If you cannot reach the ground, bend your legs more or hold your elbows. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Round your back and slowly roll all the way up. And release your shoulders down. Again. Inhale up and moving. Roll it all the way down. Keep your stomach in. Relax your head and your neck. Good. 
Make sure that your toes are relaxed. And inhale, roll all the way up. Release slowly your shoulders down. And last one, shoulders up. Keep your stomach in, exhale, rolling all the way down. And now start to sway side to side, keeping your hips fixed. So you are not moving your hips, just your upper body. And breathe. Do not hold your breath. Come back to center, round your back, and start rolling all the way up. And bring your shoulders down. Very good. And we will come now for few Surya Namaskars. We are standing in front of our yoga mat, hands down. So we will start with the classic. If you still feel a little stiff, you can have your feet hip distance. If you warm up enough, keep your feet together. Inhale, bring your hands up, gentle back and look up. Exhale, moving full forward bend. Again, if you cannot reach the floor, bend your legs or keep your hands above your shin. Step with your right leg back, Asha Sanchalanasana, knee to the floor, look up, hips moving down. Yeah, we are not keeping our hips high. Hands to the floor and we are moving to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance. You can pedal your legs, it's our first downward facing dog. Keep your stomach slightly in. Good. And now, bring your knees to the floor, chin chest to the floor, Ashtang Namaskar. Your hips and stomach not touching the ground. And now slide for small cobra. Heels together, hands off the floor, just to make sure that you are not putting any pressure on your hands. Look up and bring your hands back next to your chest, tuck your toes and through table pose, moving to downward facing dog, feet hip distance. You can bend your legs and just move your hips more high. Very important to keep our spine straight. Yeah, lengthen. And now look in front and bring your right leg in front between your hands. Left knee to the floor. Look up, Asha Sanchalanasana. And step in front for full forward bend. Relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, coming all the way up, gentle backward. And bring your hands down, stiff pratanasana. Again, inhale, hands up, gentle backward, look up. Exhale, keeping your upper arm in one line with your ears, coming for full forward bend. Left leg moves back, Asha Sanchalanasana, knee to the floor, hips down, front leg 90 degree. Look up. And hands to the floor, step to downward facing dog. Knees to the floor. Chin chest to the floor, Ashtang Namaskar. Inhale, again, small cobra, classic or Jangasana. Lift your chest up, look up. When we look up, it's good for our thyroid. But if you have a pressure on your neck, you can just look slightly in front of you. Tuck your toes and come into downward facing them. Then we will stay here for a little bit. Breathing in. 
and gaze in art. Look in front, step with your left leg in front, right knee to the floor, Ashas and Chalamasan look up. And step in front for full forward and relax your hand and relax your neck. Inhale, coming all the way up, gentle backward, look up. And release your hands down, sit pratanasa. And we will go now for Surya Namaskar A. Hands down from sides. Bring your hands all the way up. Join your palms. Look at your palms. Exhale. Moving your hands through your heart center. Coming to full forward. Inhale. Coming to halfway. Adha Uttanasana. If you cannot reach the ground, keep your hands on your shins. Stomach in, flatten your back. And now bring your hands to the floor. If they are not reaching, bend your legs, spread your fingers and step to plank. Find your strength in this pose. And now we will go in for one push-up. So you can come on your knees, lift your feet, lean slightly in front, exhale, moving forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. And inhale, coming to upward facing dog, or we are coming for up uh, high cobra. Tuck your toes and come back to downward facing dog. Breathing in and long exhale out. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Bend your legs, look between your hands and step with your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest up, arts of Tanasan, stomach in. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, moving all the way up. Join your palms all the way up. Look at your thumbs. And exhale, release your hands down. For Tadasan, mountain pose. We will repeat one more time. Inhale, hands up. Join your palms, look at your thumbs, and exhale, moving full forward bend. Ardha Uttanasana, uh, next one. Inhale, lift your chest up, flatten your back. Keep always your abdominal muscle engaged. Hands to the floor, step to plank. One beautiful line, don't suck your hips too low or don't bring too high, find your one line. And we are coming to Chaturanga Dandasana, one push-up. You can come on your knees, lift your feet up, lean slightly in front and come full forward bend. Oh, sorry, towards the floor. And coming for upward facing. Opening your chest, remember, not bringing your shoulders to your ears, yeah? Lifting yourself more up. And coming back to downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Bring your feet together. Inhale, coming on your toes. Try not to move your upper body too much. Work just with your lower extremities. Exhale, heels down. Inhale up. 
and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, stay for five, four, come higher, three, two, one. Release your heels down, look in front, bend your knees and step with your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest up, Adhantanasana. And exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, hands coming all the way up. Join your palms, look up. And release your hands down. And just close your eyes. And notice any sensations in your body. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep your eyes closed, open your eyes, and we will come to our next pose to Katasa. For beginners, and after we will do more challenging one. Yeah, so your feet one foot distance, parallel to each other. Inhale, you will come on your toes, hands, shoulder level. Yeah. With exhale, keeping your spine up. Yeah, without leaning in front and back. You will come bending your legs, coming all the way down. Keeping your thighs parallel to each other. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Now using your core muscle, coming all the way up without leaning in front. Come back to on your toes and stay here, finding your balance. And now slowly with exhale, release your hands and your heels down to the ground. Yes? Let's do a few more times. One foot distance. Always check your feet that they are parallel to each other. Inhale, come on your toes, hands shoulder level. Exhale, keeping your back up. Slowly coming down. Relax your facial muscles. And now see my thighs, they are parallel to each other, no V-shaping, yeah? we are not opening our knees to the sides. Stay here for three. Even if you are shaking, it's good, it means that you are going more deeper to your muscles. Inhale, without leaning in front, coming all the way up on your toes. Stay here and exhale slowly, release everything down. Last one, check your feet, feet hip distance parallel to each other. And we are coming, inhale up, good, and exhale moving all the way down, good. Stomach slightly in, moving our chest, our sternum all the way up. And with inhale, coming all the way up on your toes and slowly releasing down. Good. Next variation of chair pose is three-legged chair. So you will bring your right foot above your left knee. It's also called the four. Yeah, number four pose. You will bring your hands up. Bend standing leg and coming into this pose. 
finding your balance, flex your foot which is on top of your knee and stay. Three, two, you can bring your hands for balance to the side if you are falling, but the best way is lifting your hands up. Inhale, straightening the leg and release everything down. And we are changing the side. Find your balance. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, bending your standing leg. Make sure that you're tucking your tailbone in. Good. And stay. Breathing in. And breathing out. Find your balance. Inhale, coming up and release everything down. We are coming for goddess pose. Feet turning out, yeah? Bring it wider. And we will come bending our knees, moving our knees backwards. You can move your hips slightly side to side. Hands above your knees, moving your knees back coming parallel to the floor and stay here try to bring your hips lower stay five four three two and one slowly coming back hands in namaste keep your tail in and start pulsing. Keep your chest up. Continue. Breathing in. Breathing out. Continue. Feel the fire on your quadriceps. Continue. Breathing in and breathing out. And come all the way up, bring your feet in, hands on your hips, inhale, open your chest, exhale, coming forward, bend, bring your hands first under your shoulders, lift your chest up, keep your spine lengthened, legs not bent, and now walk with your hands in front, Coming for forward bend, lift your quadriceps muscles up, and we will stay here to lengthen our spine and work for our arms, hamstrings as well. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Walking with your hands back, lift your chest up and now start to walk with your hands towards your right leg and try to reach with your forehead, your knee. Keep your legs straight. Stay five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center first, lift your chest, and start to move to the other leg. Hold your shin and try to bring your forehead to your knee. Your legs are straight. And stay. Slowly come back to center. Move your hands behind your legs. Just relax your head and your neck. Again, keeping your legs straight. So what I mean behind you are moving your hands behind your hips, yeah? 
keeping your legs straight, you are staying in the pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep your legs straight. Slowly coming all the way up. Join your feet together. Close your eyes. And again, observe what is happening in your body. Open your eyes and we will come for next pose from downward facing dog. Make your feet together, inhale, hands up, look up, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up and now step with your right leg back, high lunge, keep your hands on the ground, back leg is straight, move your heel backward and make sure that your front leg is 90 degrees and stay five four three two one and now you will bring your right foot right heel to the ground keeping your left hand on the floor you will open your chest for Parshvakanasana. Don't drop your head. Yes, stay here. And we will work with our top arm. Bring above your head and up. Above our head and up. Continue. Move your hips lower to feel the muscle. Good. And now circle and up. Circle, up, circle, up, two more times, circle, up, circle, up. Come back to high lunge. Keeping now your right hand inside, open left hand to the side. For a twist and stay. Bring your hand to the floor, knee to the floor, straightening your left leg for Arfa Hanumanasana. Half split, yeah? Feeling work in our hamstring under our knee. Good. Stay. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Coming back for low lunge first. We will come to skandhasana. So we're turning our left foot slightly in and moving our hips down. Yeah, this is skandhasana pose, which is working on our inner thigh. So you can have your hands down. Don't lean in front. Even so, you will feel more stretch. I want. That you experience balance you can bring your hands up yeah if that's difficult for you you still can keep your fingers on the ground yeah and now we will move to the other side also skandasan find your balance if we fail it's also part of practice and now we are coming first to lunge, high lunge. Back heel is moving backward, hips down. And stay five, four, three, two, one. Closing our left foot. Right hand on the floor and we are opening for Parshvakanas. And we are staying here. Relaxing our facial muscle. Good. If this is difficult for you, you can always bring your hand more up. 
Then you will keep your hand above your head. Yeah? And now, we will work with our hand. Don't drop your head. Moving your hand, working our shoulder joint. And now, circles. One. Two. Three. Two more. Four. And five. Coming back to high lunge. Left hand on the floor. Right hand up. Staying in a twist. Breathing in. And out. Come back to center. Bring your knee to the floor and move to Ardha Harmanas. Feeling nice, all the stretch. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Coming back to Asha Sanchalanas and moving hips down. Step to plank first, finding your line. And now bring your knee to the floor. Hands right where is your shoulder here. Yeah? Knees hip distance. Make some cut and cow. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, round, chin to your chest, stomach in. Inhale up and exhale round. Inhale up, exhale round, stomach in, chin to your chest. Two more times. Inhale up, exhale round. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale round. Come back to table pose. Hips stuck above our knees. We will walk with our hand in front. You can bring your forehead to the floor. If this is very easy for you, bring your chin and your chest to the floor. And stay in the pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly coming out and moving to child's pose. Slide your knees and extend your arms and bring the forehead to the floor. And rest. You can keep your elbows on the floor. Loop in front. We are coming on to sitting position. Yeah, we will sit on our hips. If you need any cushioning under your hips, you can get it. Yeah, you can put any folded blanket if you need it. And our first pose, we will do Gomukhasan, cow pose. You will bend your right leg. That your knee looking exactly in front. And you will bring your left knee on top of the right. So you are not sitting on your heels. You are sitting on your sitting bones. You will bring your right hand up. And just clasp your hands behind your back. If this is difficult for you, just hold with your left hand your elbow. 
and just push it toward the middle of your head yeah and you will stay in this pose make sure that you're sitting bones on the ground this back of your head move your forearm back and stay here breathing in and breathing And now with exhale, going forward bend. And stay here for five. Sitting bones on the floor, do not leave, lift your hips off the floor. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, slowly coming up. And releasing your hands. And now from this pose we will come to Ardha Matsyandrasan. We will just bring our left foot on the ground. Here you have variation. So again remember you are not sitting on your heel of your right leg. You are sitting bones on the ground. You are not lifting your buttocks up. You can hug your knee closer towards your stomach and you will twist to the left look above your left shoulder or you can bring your hand yeah your arm just outside of your knee it will be more intense but remember your sitting bone is on the floor and you will twist so here should have no big distance between your stomach and your thigh and we are staying breathing in and breathe it out. With every exhalation, slowly twisting a little bit deeper. Remember that your foot is grounded on the ground, the one which is next to me. Yeah? You are not lifting, it's not on the side, it's on the floor, fully ground. Come back to the center, release your legs, you can shake it, and now you will bring your left leg in, right knee on top, again make sure you are on your sitting bones, not on your heels, left hand comes up, and clasp your hands behind, you can also hold your t-shirt behind, or using a belt, yeah, and stay here. Breathing in and breathing out. It's a nice shoulder opening. So this is will reduce if your shoulder is slouching more in front. It will correct your posture. It's a nice hip opener. If you see it much longer in the pose that we do today in the practice, you will see some sense, you will feel some sensations going up in your hips yeah and with exhale going forward then. and stay here for five four three two and one very slowly come back Release your hands, you can shake it a little if you feel tension, and bring your right foot, right foot on the floor, right where is your knee. You see, automatically your sitting bone, your, your buttocks is lifting, bring it back to the floor. We want our sitting bones to be on the floor, not sitting on our heel. And now you can hug your knee and twist, or bring your upper arm outside of your knee, pushing your knee more backwards, you are twisting and stay, breathing in and breathing out. It's a beautiful deep twist for our spine, it releases 
any tension that creates there. This force energizes us, good for our internal organs. If you are pregnant, you are twisting to the opposite side, the same with if you have menstrual cycle. If you have serious problems with your spine, you go for a lighter version of Arnhem and Sintras, and here you will twist just halfway, you are not going deep into the posture. If you have diarrhea, you also not do it this posture. And slowly come back. Extend your legs and shake it fast. And we'll come to butterfly pose, Baddha Kanasan, bringing our feet together. And now we will do the posture or the balance. Yeah? You will make hook with three fingers, hold your big toes. You will lift your feet first off the floor, finding your balance. And now you will stretch your legs out, keeping your spine up, using your core muscle, and we are staying in the pose for five, four, three, two, find your balance, and one, bringing your legs back together, gently releasing on the floor, and we will come for forward bend here, yeah? exhale, moving down, Relax your shoulders, your neck and your head. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. With every exhalation, allow your body to go more deeper. So usually, because we don't know how to let go, that's why we are lacking flexibility. Yeah? So we need just learn how to exhale deeply and let go anything which is hunting on us. slowly come all the way up. Good. Bring your knees together, hug it, and bring forehead on your knees. Your back is slightly round. Sit in Pavan in front and we will come lying down on our back. Lie down comfortably. Oh, feels good. Hug your knees. You can rock side to side. to the floor, keep distance, or bridge pose, hands to the floor, with exhale, we will lift our hips up, deep inhale, and exhale, lift up, you can clasp your hands, and stay in the pose. Breathing in, moving your hips higher. And very slowly, release down. Vertebra by vertebra. Bring your knees to your chest. And now lift your legs up. 90 degrees. Point your toes towards your chest, 
and stay for five. Pressing your lower back to the ground. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend your legs. Bring your feet mat distance. Hands in a deep position to the sides. For a twist. Exhale. Drop your knees to the right. And look to the left. Keep your shoulders on the ground. If your left knee too high from the ground, bring your right foot on top of your left knee and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Today we had gentle practice. It's a new week. It's nice to start week slowly with a lot of stretches at the same moment with many balances which will give us better concentration and focus inhale come back to the center and with exhale drop your knees to the left and move to the right breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Very good. Come back to the center. And we will come to Shavasana. To relax. Bring your feet comfortable distance. Hands away from your body. Make sure that your neck is lengthened here. Palms looking up. Close your eyes. Relax your toes, your feet. My toes. And my feet are relaxed. Relax your ankles, your calves. My ankles and my calves are relaxed. Relax your knees. My knees are relaxed. Relax your thighs, your hips. My thighs. And my hips are relaxed. Relax your stomach. My stomach is relaxed. Relax your chest. Chest is relaxed. Relax your shoulders, your arms, hands. My shoulders, my arms, and hands are relaxed. Muscles. My facial muscles are relaxed. My body is fully relaxed from my toes to my hips to the ground.
sempre exalation release and tension from the physical body. With every exhalation, release and tension and release from the body. And now, we will do a few rounds of Dharma Ritania. We will inhale. And with your mouth close to your pronouns, last syllable of the own. Till you have a full exhale. And you will repeat a couple of times. And we start. Inhale. Turn to your right side. And with support of your hands, slowly come to comfortable sitting posture. Keep your eyes closed. Spine is erect, chin power to the floor. Turn your hands in almost in front of your heart. Bring your hands to your forehead, reminding us to clear and morning thoughts. Hands to the heart, reminding us to clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth, reminding us to clear and loving communications. Thank you for your practice. Have a wonderful day ahead. See you next time on the month. Love and love.